This is how you use the AeroPress. What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Copy and this is episode 33 of Copy with Chris. Now, last episode I said that the AeroPress was kind of the best brewer to buy if you're just getting into making specialty coffee for a variety of reasons, but basically it's easy to clean, easy to use, and you can consistently get great results on relatively small volumes of coffee. So today I wanted to make a video showing you how to use the AeroPress. Now I made an older video um, showing you how to use the inverted technique with the AeroPress, but today I'm going to show you how to do the traditional, the normal technique with the AeroPress with a few tweaks to make excellent copy consistently. So first things first, we're going to pop a filter into the bottom of our AeroPress screw it on the bottom here and we're gonna pre preheat and pre-soak the filter so just put it over there for waste water we're just gonna pour some water through and this is just to get some temperature in the plastic and to make sure that paper is nice and rinsed okay so once that is done dripping out we're gonna add 17 grams of coffee and we're looking at 250 grams of water. So first things first, zero out your scale. So we're gonna add 17 grams of coffee. Now this coffee is ground medium fine. So on the fine end of kind of medium. Uh, the reason being is that we have a paper filter here, so we can grind finer and get more complete extractions. The only time you really want to be grinding coarsely is when you have uh, metal filters or something that's going to let too much coffee through. So medium fine for the AeroPress is perfect. All right, perfect. So 17 grams of coffee in. Now. All you're gonna do, you're gonna add all of your water one shot here. So you're gonna add it right up to about this four right here on the ed outside of the AeroPress. That's where you're gonna add the water to. And this doesn't, just make sure you get it all wet. You can make some rotations. If you don't have a gooseneck though, like you can just pour it on. Now, here is the trick. You're gonna take the paddle that it comes with Give this a nice little stir around. Make sure everything is all together in there. But then here's how you're gonna help it brew longer. You're gonna put this in on an angle, okay? And you're gonna pull up ever so slightly on here just to try to stall the brewing, to try to create like a bit of a vacuum in there. And now you're gonna let it brew for a minute and 30 seconds. All right, so we're coming up to a minute 30. And then once the minute 30 is over, you're just gonna plunge this. So the key is just slow and steady. This shouldn't have to be super forced. You don't have to ram this down. You just push in that beautiful brewed coffee through the filter. And then once you hear it kind of start to whistle, you can finish plunging. Now, the key here, the real key here, is obviously getting your ratios right, as always, with any brewer getting those ratios right, your water to coffee ratios. But as always, the biggest thing here is the that suction at the top of the brewer. When, we're, when we add the coffee and we add the water and then we put the piston in on an angle and pull it back just a bit so that we can kind of stall the brewing and let that coffee really, really get extracted. That's the biggest part of this brewer. That's the only kind of little trick. After that, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, a minute 30 brew time is good. If you like your coffee a bit stronger, see what it tastes like at a minute 45 or closer to two minutes. I wouldn't venture much lower than a minute 30 and I wouldn't venture much, uh, much longer than two minutes. That's kind of where you want to stay. But anyways, 
that's how you make delicious AeroPress coffee. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you like your AeroPress in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.